Hi, this is Greg, Best Choice Trailers. Today I'm gonna to take you for a walk around the Shore Track 7x20, 16,000 pound GVW implement trailer. This particular trailer is a stock unit. There's no added options to it. So if you see it here, it comes with the trailer standard. So I'm gonna take you for a walk around it, show you some of the features that we think make it a compelling value. So we're gonna start out up front. This is the only coupler, or I should say the first coupler that they go to the heavy duty front nose plate. Uh, it's the lightest rated trailer where they use a four bolt coupler. You can get it either with the pinnel or you can get it with a two and five sixteenth inch ball coupler. So again, heavy duty front nose plate standard. Going back, you've also got a 12K jack. Jack's got two grease zerts for serviceability. And then it's got a drop leg or an inner drop foot that you pull the pin, it springs up and down for added uh, extension. Of course you got your safety chains they use this sealed wiring harness standard it's also got a built-in plug guard on it as well to keep it off the ground when not in use now short track like many manufacturers uses a six inch frame on a 14k this trailer they jumped to an eight inch frame so what i think you're going to find in the industry is many manufacturers use the same six inch frame on the 16k gvw trailers uh, short track bumps it to an 8 inch so it's an 8 inch tongue and an 8 inch mainframe so again many manufacturers are just going to change the axles and tires and the associated running gear but on this you've got an 8 inch channel tongue 8 inch channel mainframe the heavy duty front nose plate coupler and then they jump from a 3 inch to a 4 inch channel ramp with an extra heavy duty kicker so again, besides the running gear, those are your additional structural changes. Okay, going back to the running gear, and I'll call this a true 16K trailer because there's a number of manufacturers out there that count tongue weight. So they'll call a 14,000 pound GVW a 16 or a 16.1 or whatnot. This is a true 16K or some would even call this a 17.6. What you need to look for folks is right here. This is the easiest way to tell an 8K axle. Uh, generally, it's going to be oil bath, although they do come in grease. But a true 8K axle is generally going to have a solid wheel and 17.5 rubber. And if you take a look at that rubber, it's got about, I don't think I can focus here. Let's try that. It's got about twice the tread depth of a normal 16 inch tire. So again, a 17.5, you get the heavy rubber, the oil bath, uh, the heavy wheel. And then I'll try and crawl underneath this, folks. It's going to have the uh, bigger brakes. So on an 8K axle, you're going to get the same 3 and 3, 3 8 inch brakes as on a dual tandem. And then you get a little bit heavier spring and a little bit heavier duty axle too. Uh, of course, the cross members underneath are 16 inch on center structural channel. You'll see a treated pine deck. And then, of course, in the middle, there's a slipper spring suspension. So Short Track does a few additional features that they do, of course, on all their trailers. Uh, one would be a standard spare tire mount. They do a full wrap tongue, which means that tongue wraps back to the spring hanger. They do the fender gussets with the bullet LED lights. They do a double broke equipment fender instead of uh, some use a single broke there. Okay, they give you a lot of tie downs. Instead of just the rub rail and stake pockets, they also give you the D-rings. There's four of them on this particular unit. They take the time to silicone between the joints. So you're going to see, of course, a stitch weld. Then they go to uh, silicone between the bead of weld. Of course, short track embossed reflector tape. So moving on back the trailer, they've got additional stake pockets, rub rail, and D-rings. Notice that the transition, this is also uh, a welded on piece. Uh, some leave the wood butted against the wood. Uh, a little bit nicer way of doing things would be your transition plate. So of course we said earlier, instead of a three inch channel ramp, these are gonna have a four inch channel. And then you've got about probably 16 to 18 inches between the ramps uh, that they won't go all the way together, of course, because of your LED lights at the back, your bullet LED marker lights. A trailer like this is gonna weigh in about 3,700 pounds. They GVW this trailer at 16 it's going to give a net legal payload of 12.3 of course that number does not count any tongue weight 
Tongue weight be additional load that's going to be carried on the truck side. It can bump your uh, GVW up eh, generally 15% actual, but we try to recommend around, don't figure more than about 10%. Uh, so again, 12.3 is your legal payload plus your tongue weight. Trailer is powder coated. It's available in different lengths, but we find this 20 foot's a pretty common size. You can get it in a 22 or an 18. Uh, we even have some that go gooseneck and go longer. So folks, my name's Greg at Best Choice Trailers. If you have any questions for us, give us a ring. 717-220-4220. Or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.